Good morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Wednesday, December 7, 2016. If you want to follow us on Twitter, please go to CADEX TV. There's been a plane crash in Pakistan. Pakistan International Airlines is reporting that one of their commercial airliners carrying 47 people crashed in the northern part of the country. The flight was uh, PK-661. It was on a domestic flight uh, flying from the northern city of Chitral to Islamabad, the capital. Uh, the uh, government officials on the scene are saying all the bodies are burned beyond recognition. There are no survivors. Uh, the airliner was an ATR-42 turboprop aircraft. Um, according to uh, press reports coming from Islamabad, uh, the pilot had sent a distress signal before the crash. There's no other information about the crash as to who insured the plane or who might not have insured it. There was also a uh, significant earthquake in Indonesia earlier today. It's killed at least 100 people and uh, prompted a tsunami alert, uh, which subsequently was canceled. Uh, the earthquake was in magnitude 6.5. It struck in Assay province. Uh, the uh, government is saying that uh, 245 buildings have been seriously damaged or destroyed, in addition to the 100 or so people killed. Uh, Assay province, of course, was the scene of the December 2004 uh, earthquake and following tsunami that killed 100,000 people there. The series of earthquakes which struck central Italy uh, between the 26th and 30th of October, uh, which measured 5.4, 5.9, and 6.5, have managed to produce only some 31 million euros in insured losses. Uh, this is information released by the industry loss data provider Perils, and once again points to the uh, extreme underinsurance uh, held by uh, many Italians, which is a very seismic area of earthquake insurance. If that event had happened in uh, the United States, uh, it presumably would have resulted in many more insured claims. We noticed this story earlier in the week, but thought in this post-truth era it might have been a fake story. However, Apple seems to have responded, so we'll talk about it. Uh, there was a report in the Chinese media saying that the Shanghai Consumer Council had released a report detailing battery fires in eight iPhone 6 handsets. Um, Apple is now saying that the units we've analyzed have clearly shown that external physical damage happened to them which produced the thermal event, i.e. the battery fire. Uh, Apple has seen its Chinese sales fall over the past three quarters as domestic smartphone makers from China uh, begin to compete with uh, high-tech phones sold by Apple and Samsung. Uh, the Samsung case apparently uh, woke the Chinese market up um, there's a, a bit of a complaint that's being seen on the internet uh, where frustration is being expressed that foreign brands could set high prices but still not guarantee safety. Samsung, of course, had the exploding uh, Galaxy Note phones. Uh, comments said that uh, commentary from people posting in China said, the news about the iPhone uh, did make me change my Apple habits. For example, I don't dare play with the phone in bed and if it heats up quickly, I throw it aside. China's foreign exchange reserves fell much more than expected last month in November to the lowest level in nearly six years. Authorities are trying to uh, stem capital outflows and show up, shore up the sliding Chinese currency in face of the uh, relentlessly rising dollar. With President-elect Trump threatening to label China a currency manipulator on his first day in office, the country's central bank is walking a tightrope, seeking, seeking to sh slow the wand's descent and tightening controls on money moving out of the country, uh, i.e. capital flight. Uh, China still has the world's largest foreign exchange reserves. They've steadily declined over the past two years to slightly over $3 trillion, levels not seen since 2011. And last night at about 6.50 p.m. in Siberia, in the southwestern part of Siberia and the Republic of Caucasia, it was pitch black. It's pretty far north up there, even though it's southern Siberia. Children were out ice skating, people were going about errands, and all of a sudden a, a huge explosion that had been preceded by a meteor trail lit the sky up as if it was daytime. The unusual occurrence uh, surprised the entire province. Uh, it was seen from uh, all across the Republic and from neighboring territories Many people at first thought it might be a missile, 
but it's now been confirmed that in fact was a large meteorite. Stephen Hawking, of course, uh, the Nobel Prize winner, believes that mankind's time on Earth is limited because eventually a large meteor will hit and destroy life as we know it. And today is the 7th of December, the 75th anniversary of the surprise attack by the Empire of Japan on the American Navy at Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, which began the United States' involvement in World War II. As we mentioned later this month, uh, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe will travel to Pearl Harbor uh, where he will visit the memorial with President Obama. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.